Welcome back, everyone. This is Jeff. Hey, today's the first day that we're starting our uh, project here. 2000 Ferrari 360 uh, with a manual transmission. Like I said earlier uh, in my other videos, this does have the rear option of the factory sunroof and the uh, six-speed manual. And uh, the carbon fiber seats, these kind of the race seats. You don't see these too often either on these. So it's kind of got some rear options. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Uh, we'll probably raise it up. And uh, we're going to take the under tray off. And then uh, we're going to take the seats out because we're going to do uh, belts and that on this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. First thing I, we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to take this under tray off and uh, get access to everything underneath here. And then uh, we'll do a look over to see if anything we need and uh, get it ordered by chance. But uh, that's where we're starting. We're going to take this off and uh, move forward. So we've got the under tray removed and uh, everything doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this piece here and uh, so we can lock the flywheel. So when we break the... Uh, crank bolt loose we'll have to have this off so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that at this time so we've got that panel removed and uh, we're gonna go ahead and lower the car back down and start removing some other stuff alright so the next thing I'm gonna do right now before I drain the fluids is I want to get this interior out because uh, I'm kinda wanting to get access to everything so I'm gonna start removing the seats and then uh, we'll remove the back wall. So uh, that's where I'm going to start. All right, so I've got the seat loose now. Um, like I said, two two bolts on the front or in the rear here. They're number six. Same on the front. There's two up there. Um, then this is a number 17. So we'll take this loose, and then the seat should come out. All right. So we're going to do that. The seat removed. These are super light seats. I mean, these are crazy light compared to the other seats. Um, hardly any effort to get them out of there. So, anyway, we're going to continue on. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remove the back wall. Probably have to remove the net. This piece here. Uh, that holds well, this is where it holds the top in when it's installed in here and then the little brackets down there uh, I'm gonna remove these two. I need to get in there uh, I'm gonna remove the four screws to hold that those on on each side and then uh, We'll continue on so I want to remove the two screws here, which is a number three Allen one here, one on the other side, and then this should just tilt up and pull out. Okay. Um, yeah, there it is. So uh, that's removed. Uh, when you remove this net on the back side here, there's gonna be a spacer on each screw also. So you're gonna have a spacer that goes right here. All right. Seat belt holder this for the extra strap. Uh, I think it's for actually for a car seat, possibly. Um, these are threes also. So I'll take these out. This should just pull right off. And then uh, it looks like it's got a couple mounts behind there. So we're going to go ahead and take those off next. All right, these are 13s. So you take those out. Probably had to take these off too which it looks like that might be a 10. One here, one over there. This is like an eight socket. Or uh, this is actually a nine, I'm sorry, nine socket. So we take that out. All right, I'm gonna remove this upper trim piece here. It's just like, pull it, okay? All right. And it just has these little pins here to fit into this uh, back wall. Next thing I'm going to remove these screws here. These are number three apex tip or Phillips. So one here, one here, and then two on this side. So there's four here total. 
all right? So I've got this pa panel removed on the passenger side. You've got some fuse boxes here. Uh, you should have a diagram similar to this to tell you what's going on with the fuse boxes. They're labeled here. So it depends on what options you have. You may or may not have some of these fuses, but some of them are underneath there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that other side off, and it should have a diagram over there, I believe. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the driver's side, remove that seat, and then uh, that panel behind it also. All right, so we've got the uh, driver's seat loose, um, four bolts like the other side, uh, same size. Like I said, this is a 17. We'll have to take this off yet. And then uh, this was a, like I said, I think it was a four. If I'm not mistaken. Six. I'm sorry. It's a six. So the six for the bolts here on all four places. And then a 17 socket here. So we're going to go ahead and take that off and take the seat out. So we got the driver's seat out. And then on the driver's seat, don't forget to unhook your connector. Um, the passenger seat did, has a connector over there, but it wasn't hooked up. So, uh, yeah, for sure, disconnect this off your driver's seat before you pull it completely out. And then uh, now we're going to move on and pull this back shelf off. All right. Like I said before, I've got this uh, panel removed behind the driver's seat. Uh, there's some fuses back here. And then there is an explanation of what each one does or the location of the fuses. So. Um, it sh you should have this or something similar. If you don't, it's missing. So moving on. So that now that I have all these removed, the carpet should just pull right out. It's kind of tucked behind these panels, but you shouldn't be able to. You should be able to pull it without pulling those. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pry it up and uh, kind of pull down on it, and it should come right out of there. All right. Now you can see that the carpet's been removed. And uh, next step is to take this panel off here. These are tens. So I'll take those all out. And that should expose the front part of the motor. So we're going to go ahead and take that off right now. All right, so I've got those screws removed. They're bagged. Panel's loose. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I don't know why that, what that is, but anyway... Uh, thanks, Alexa. Anyway, uh, that panel is removed, and then that exposes the front part of the motor here. Uh, the next thing we'll probably end up doing is taking the belts loose and then uh, getting those timing covers back off. So we'll have to drain the coolant, and we'll raise the car back up. I'll probably disconnect the battery at this point, too, uh, because I don't want to start the car after this um, until we get the belts in that change. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking uh, probably the battery loose after this. All right. Uh, I think this is going to conclude today. I uh, disconnected the battery with the switch in the Ford trunk. Um, so I've got that disconnected now. So the next thing I guess that I'm going to do is probably um, raise the car, start taking some of the belts loose, and the fluids drain in the coolant at this point. Um, I mean, I could actually disconnect the power steering pump from up here, uh, loosen it. That's from up here, but the rest of the stuff is pretty much from the bottom. So, all right. Uh, stay tuned for uh, day two coming up.